All right, so here we are. We have a chunk of wood. Kind of looks like a cutting board, doesn't it? So what we have here is swamp ash and African mahogany. And uh, yeah, it's a nice chunk of wood. Almost looks like a uh, cutting board, doesn't it? I probably could turn it into a cutting board, but that's, that's not what this is going to be. This is going to be my guitar, my style of a guitar. And uh, yeah, so I do have a bunch of veneers coming, different types of veneers, uh, everything from a, uh, a mahogany that's got a lot of figuring in it, like a flame maple, um, quilted maple tops and uh, flame maples that are coming in, which are like the length of them. I could probably get like three guitars out of one set of lumber. They do book match them. Um, but they are very long some of them could be like 100 inches long and uh so i can get quite a bit maybe two three guitars out of the uh, veneers that i'm getting on this so this is exotic wood zone and they are out in st louis missouri now I found some good things and some bad things about them online, and uh, I want to take my chances. Like, there's a little bit of a chip right here, but to be honest with you, that will probably be, be cut off. So I'm not worried about that. But the rest of the wood looks pretty damn nice. It's not bad at all. And again, like I said, I'm going to be putting a top on this, so it's not going to show any of this. This will be on the back. I need some sanding. It's pretty flat and pretty even. But you could feel the different textures in the wood. So when it gets to from the swamp ash to the mahogany, yeah, it's a little bit rough on the mahogany side. But they're not like straggled. They're all nice and flat. So this is what's going to be my first guitar, actual guitar build from scratch, other than a neck because I have a shitload of necks that uh, I need to find a body for them to fit on. So that's this go into something else something that I use a lot of and that'll be this I use a lot of this stuff as you guys know and have seen so I've got a lot of guitar parts brand new parts uh, from different vendors that I was buying stuff from, all parts, um, stew man, whatever. I have a shitload of fret wire. So I've got everything that I need to basically kind of build a body. I mean, there's still some tools out there that I can use, like, uh, uh, shit, these guys kind of got knocked around in here, huh? Oh, yeah. I love this stuff. This stuff looks up really, really nice. So I got the premium epoxy, and one of them is the hardener, and the other one is the resin. Why does the hardener have a little bit of a yellow tint to it? Hmm. It may not be nothing. But anyways, this stuff dries crystal clear, so I ain't worried about that at all. I've been using it so far. Wow, I've, I've used a whole gallon of this stuff. Basically on different guitar bodies, the pen holder, and if you go back to the pen holder video, uh, the last video that I put up before this one, you'll see the reflection of the bike in the wood, and it is just unreal as far as how this stuff shines up and how hard it gets to. I mean, this stuff is like really, really uh, more harder than the stuff that I was using before. The stuff I was using from Menards um, kind of stayed, it was really hard, very durable, but almost stayed on the plastic side. This stuff here, it doesn't do that. And it, it's very hard to flex it. Once you've got a good chunk of it, it's very hard to flex. It will adhere to itself. Um, if you end up putting more than one coat on something, you do not notice a difference in how the item looks that you're coating, that you're applying more than one coat. And when you do sanding on it, you're, and if you happen to sand through a little bit of one of the coats, you don't notice like a line or anything else where it's feathering in from one, from one uh, layer to another. It doesn't do that. And this stuff is really nice. I really, really like it. All right. So right now, that's my unboxing. That's my video. 
and I'm sticking to it. You guys take it easy, have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.